Caught him in a big spot That we never did the wrong Let me explain The reason why I'm sitting by So you can have eternal love I know That you might Have not For you and me So that we could live Like more abundantly I feel the world Everywhere we go He gave us life And everyone should know I
The Inna in the house with their brand new stuff called Where I Want to Be. And right before that, we had a young lady called Demita. She has a self-titled CD coming out September 26, 2000. You go out and get this CD if you are on the R&B tip. The name of the song was Life. Prez with you in Zero Gravity, and we are talking about smoking. And we have to realize what this really is about. I mean, why do you think the government right now is making such a hoopla over tobacco? I mean, why all of a sudden do we see all these billboards, at least here in the Toledo, Ohio area, talking about if you smoke as a teenager, you're a part of Loserville? Why do we have that now? Is it because that the government has gotten a conscience? I probably wouldn't go that far to say that. But you can best bet that there is a reason. And we know what that reason is. Let's get into the word of God. The word. Comes to us from Proverbs 11:28 says, "He that trusteth in riches shall fall, but the righteous shall flourish." as a branch from 1980 to 1999 the tobacco industry took in about 431 billion dollars from american smokers alone and in that same amount of time 7.5 million people have died from smoking in 1957 tobacco farmers were getting about 16 cents for every dollar a consumer spent on cigarettes while the manufacturers received about 19 cents. In 1993, farmers were getting only about 3 cents while manufacturers were getting 63 cents. And that is just a real bad miscalculation. It's not a miscalculation and it did that on purpose. Because if you count inflation, they should be getting way more than that. Last but not least, in 1997, tobacco interest gave 4.5 million dollars to political parties and spent 53 million dollars on lobbying efforts to influence political decisions it's about money folks that's why there's this big hoopla over tobacco and cigarettes right now it's about money but for us it shouldn't be about money it should be about obedience to god you see, once we break it down, smoking is an outright sin in rebellion against God and what he has said in his word. It is a sin to smoke, knowing what we know today. It is a sin to smoke. All right, y'all. We're going to end this up on the next break. Right now, brand new DJ Moses in the house. Remixing We All Want to Be Loved by DC Talk. You hear it first, only, exclusively in Zero Gravity.
Was I always as rude as I am now? <laughs> Absolutely. the artist is Cortex and the name of that song is Ascension. Nice trance there. Right before that we had the brother and sister duo from South Africa off of their CD Magnetic JC Culture with Gravity as in Zero Gravity which is where you are at right now. We've been talking about smoking and we've pretty much laid it out scripturally and we added some facts in there to really see this as it is and what is it sin smoking is a sin ain't no two ways about it you can try to sugarcoat this all you want but scripture tells me that smoking is a sin i don't care what any church pastor or evangelist or anyone says 
scripture says it is a sin guess what that's what i'm following and that is what we should all be following instead of giving into what everybody else is doing and what everybody else is accepting what everybody else is tolerating we should adhere to the word of god no matter what see because this world is going to pass away but some of you people right now puffing on a cigarette want to be free from this you want to get this nasty habit out of your life you'll know how to do it let's go to the word of god the word. this i say then walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh galatians 5 16 see what you have to do you have to be willing to give it up it has to be a decision of your will to give up this fleshly activity. The Bible talks about the flesh and the spirit being enemies against each other. That is why some of you who've tried to quit smoking a couple times and can't is because the flesh and the spirit are at this great war. And if you haven't been walking in the spirit, it will lose because you've been walking in the flesh. You've been given into the flesh. But God can set you free. Now, some of you people don't even know who God is. And there's no way for you to walk in the spirit because you don't even have the spirit of God. But I tell you what, the Spirit of God wants to have you. But you see, you have to be willing to give up, submit yourself to Him. I'm not saying that quitting smoking is easy. For some, it may, it may just come and just go away. For others, it may be a little bit harder. It may be a struggle. But the first step is your decision to do what God has said. And some of you just need to take the first step of coming into a relationship with God. Because I say again, you can't walk in the spirit of God when you don't have the spirit of God. And you can't have the spirit of God unless you go through Jesus the Christ who died for your sin. How does that happen? How do we get to that point? How can I be set free from cigarettes? Or how can I be set free from cocaine? Or how can I be set free from marijuana? Or anger and bitterness or unforgiveness? Lust, sexual lust. How can we be set free from that? I'm gonna tell you coming up right after this break and right after this fat hip-hop mega mix don't you go anywhere <laughs> 